Hi uh, guys, Luke Bradbury here. Uh, welcome to video number 24, part 4 for the current EOS 500 DT1 i and Kiss X3 tutorial videos. Uh, final part of the video mode tutorials. Uh, what you can see here behind me is the 500D on a tripod. Uh, I've got my good friend Mark sat on the sofa ready for the short video or interview uh, to be shot. The umbrella with the work light as well as providing light on him for the 500D when we set that up to shoot video as well and it's being recorded, this part of the video anyway, on the Kodak Play Touch which I've recently purchased which gives me a second HD camera. And one thing to note as well, the frame rate and resolution that I'm going to use on the 500D is 720p 30 frames a second. Now if you remember from the other parts of the video we talked about that combining frame rates is quite difficult with 1080p because of the 20 frames a second. The Kodak Play Touch will record in 720p 30 frames a second, 60 and 1080p 30. So I can't really use the 20 frames a second. So I've decided, best option, 720p 30 frames a second on the 500D, 720p 30 frames a second on this video camera that I'm on now. So we'll bring you guys in closer and just to show you how we set up the 500D, ready for video mode. And whilst I'm setting this up, we'll give you some quick tips and tricks on how to get the... Uh, exposure to where you want it to and then we'll run the short interview. So here we go. Okay guys here we are in the, the next part of part 4 of video 24. We're looking at the back of the 500D, something that you should be very familiar with by now. Okay and we're going to set up shooting this video of Mark. Now with this close up just so I can show you what I'm doing to, in terms of setting the camera up, you can't see Mark at the moment until the camera switches to live view in video mode. I'm in manual mode at the moment Remember, we can't use manual mode for shooting video. The 500D is very much so automatic. Manual focus because I'm going to manually focus the lens. And the white balance is currently set on tungsten because that's the conditions that we're shooting in. Or the lighting, the lighting color temperature. So now we're going to go to video mode. Oh, there we go. Uh, there he is. We'll see Mark. Okay, wearing his uh, rather fancy new to photo t-shirt. Available on the new to photo store, by the way. Okay, so looking at the back of the camera at the moment, we have the white balance set on tungsten. Okay, uh, the metering box here is set on mark at the moment. I'm going to set that around about on his head for the moment because that's the most important part. I want that over him because he is the subject of the video. Um, okay, although I will be moving the camera shortly to get it to re meter something somewhere different, um, but I'll show you that trick shortly. So as we are, we've got Mark composed on a third, we've got that rule of third grid up, you would have saw that in part one of video 24. And as you go into the menus up here, you can turn the grid on or off. Metering timer I leave on 30 minutes, so it's not going to jump around on me. We're at 720p, which is 30 frames a second on the resolution. Okay, AF mode doesn't matter here, we're going to manually focus. Sound recording is on, we're going to be recording audio on the 500D. Because after all, it's about shooting video on this, so we're working with its limitations. And the remote control is enabled, although we're not using that. There we go. So we've seen this readout before in part one. You've got the battery life. Okay, the ISO. That's the number of still images you can take there, remember. 320. And that's your meter bar, or the exposure compensation bar as well. The aperture and the shutter speed. That tells us we'll be shooting raw if I did shoot stills. That tells you the resolution. With the amount of time I've got to record, I can do about half an hour's worth. Don't worry, mate, it's not going to be a half an hour interview. <laughs> okay. Tungsten white balance, standard picture style, okay, and the quick AF, but the AF mode doesn't matter. Now, what I am going to do with this, because uh, I did install a custom picture style. Okay. I'm in standard at the moment. Portrait, landscape, you'll see the colours change. Neutral, faithful, monochrome. User defined one 500D flat video. The colours look a little bit flatter now in this. Now, if I wanted to do some work in post production with this video, I could use that picture style because it's a little flatter and then add saturation and such later on. Which I'll actually do for you just so you can show you what you can do with the video out of the 500D. So now the colours don't look quite right, but later on I'll, cor cor I'll correct that in post production. Okay? So, probably a good job this is the second take of this because I've just remembered that. There we go. Okay, so we'll get this thing set up now. Now the metering uh, box, if you like, is on mark. That's given me ISO 200, F4, 40th of a second, 30th of a second now. 
See, he's jumping around, the camera's making all the decisions here. We're lit with a tungsten lamp by an umbrella. And now I'm happy with that exposure actually there. If I did want it to change, now what I will do, what I would do is unlock the camera from the tripod and then move it around and then half press the shutter to get it to re-meter. You can see the ISO values change, the shutter speed values change there. And then once I got it to a point where I wanted it, I would tap the ISO button on top of the camera, which would then lock the exposure. Now, because as we set this up, okay, we're pretty happy with that as it is at the moment, 30th of a second at f4, ISO 200. The ISO value is quite low, so there's not a lot of noise there. Uh, I might want a slightly different shutter speed. Now, I'm going to see if I can get it to a 40th of a second. So, and I'm just half pressing the shutter, 40th of a second, so it's jumping around a little bit. Lock exposure, there we go, got it. Now, I am at ISO 400, so the camera's made the decision to jump up the ISO to do this. Happy enough with that. ISO 400 on the 500D is not too bad. So we will keep that for the moment. I'm going to lock this back down. Now remember, this picture style, it looks a little flatter than standard. Okay, it's a custom picture style that I set up for video. Now, looking at the back of the screen, okay, exposure looks not too bad there. I am just going to go exposure compensation and back it off a third, but because I've locked it, I'll go back, out of video mode, back into video mode. Okay, and I'm there you go, it's now taken the setting minus a third by pressing the AV button and rolling that dial back. Okay, and I'm just going to see if I can get it now back to 40th of a second. There we go, ISO 400. That just looks a little better. Okay, so it's now a third under to what it was. Okay, one thing you will notice as you apply exposure compensation to this. Sometimes it can take a couple of clicks before you see a value jump. So what I think the 500D is doing is actually kind of cheating the brightness. It's actually changing brightness of the video rather than exposure. Limitations of the camera. So we're set. Exposure is locked in. F4, 5.6 on this one. Okay, ISO 400. So that looks a little bit better exposed now to me, knowing my camera, knowing the screen. So now what we're going to do is we're going to run the video interview. I'll keep you guys in the same place. Mm, might as well do. Okay, and I'll make you guys... Um, I'll, order, I'll do a picture in picture so you can see what's going on in the video and I'll cut between the video interview. So we all know now we're locked in, okay. Last thing that I just need to do before we shoot is just check focus by pressing the top right button here. Okay, and I'm going to manually adjust the focus. Now, on the tripod, image stabilization is switched off because it's not needed. Auto focus is off and I'm going to manually focus. You can see his eyes are sharp there. Okay, that's fine. I could go into zoom. 10 times, that's an extreme close up of you there mate. Okay, and just fine tune the focus there. All right, I'm happy enough with that. That seems plenty sharp enough. And now we're just gonna kick start the recording by pressing the record button here, which is just above left of the white balance button. And we'll have a quick interview. And there we are, we're recording. So, hi Matt, do you wanna uh, tell them a little bit about yourself? Okay, uh, I'm Matt Baldy. Um... Rick's co-host over at newtophoto.com which I'm pretty sure you're all subscribed to in, on YouTube and you go to the website if not please go and check it out uh, I've been a photographer uh, for about 10 years now uh, and it was last year that me, myself and Rick decided to do new to photo uh, because we saw a kind of a, a gap in the teaching market for teaching people the very basics of learning how to use a digital SLR camera or any kind of SLR camera. Uh, so that's pretty much where we, I come from with new to photo. Uh, yeah. I've also got my own website, bit of a plug here, <laughs> just, you know, uh, just go and check it out, it's markbody.com. Uh, go and check out my portfolio and uh, remember to like those pictures. <laughs> Catch you guys next time. Okay. Hi right, guys, so there you saw the setup and how I used the 500D to um, film a short interview. Okay, it was only one question and uh, Mark's introduction about himself. Um, but you saw how I had to set it up, how I changed the mode, set the camera up ready to go, and how I got the camera to meter an exposure of what I wanted um, by re-metering a different part of the scene and then locking the exposure using the ISO button. It's a little fiddly because sometimes the camera just wants to jack the ISO up, change the aperture or the shutter speed. Uh, so it takes a little bit of time getting it dialed in, 
But that exposure lock feature using the ISO button is really helpful for doing this. Is the 500D as flexible as cameras like the Canon 7D, 550D or 600D or above? No, it's not for video mode. If you're really serious about doing video, then you need a, cam a camera that's got manual control and ideally an audio input as well. That said, if all you have is the 500D, take it out there, go and try the video mode. See what you can get from it, go and film some footage of your favourite locations, there could be a favourite national park, a family outing, trip to the zoo, whatever that is, go and make a video. And if the audio is an issue, say it was windy, find some music to overlay over it, okay, to deal with the audio, or have the camera not record the audio, okay, you can do it that way, and then put your own music on, combine it with stills. So see what you can get out of it first. You know, I know I've been maybe a little bit down on the video features of the 500D, but that's probably more from the way that I want to shoot video and what I use video mode for. Um, that, you know, so but for yourselves, go out there, see what you can get out of it. I hope this has been helpful. Don't forget to ask questions and stick comments below. Subscribe to my channel, New to Photo, NTP Advanced as well. Check us out on newtophoto.com, and you can check Mark out at markbaldy.com as well, and his YouTube channel is Snap Puppy. I'll put links down below for you. Now, until next time, thank you very much for watching. See you guys soon.